Hey everybody, it's Jill K, Functional Nutritionist, owner of Down to Earth Wellness. I want to do a quick video for you and share some quick hacks to help you boost your energy in the summer, summertime in particular. So if we haven't met yet, um, I am a functional nutritionist. I'm the owner of Down to Earth Wellness. You can follow me on Instagram, Down to Earth Wellness, or check out my YouTube channel. If you're watching this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe and maybe hit like if you dig this video. Anyway, um, so it's summertime. And in the summertime, we might find that our energy already is climbing, which is amazing. It might be going up already. Um, we have more daylight, especially if you're in the north, like myself. We have way more daylight. Um, and maybe your energy is already increasing, or maybe you're still dealing with fatigue and you're feeling tired regardless. So some hem simple hacks you can implement right away. First of all, uh, go outside in the morning if you can, before work, before you start your day, if the sun is up, obviously if it's summertime, it will be up, um, and get outside in the natural sunlight for five minutes. Get your eyes um, in the sun, get some sunlight. You see, what happens is um, sometimes we're in the house, right? And then we go to work and then we're under fluorescent lights and those lights are not as strong or as real or as legitimate as the sun. And we don't actually get any nice sunlight in the morning. We might be wearing sunglasses on our drive to work. We might be in the car behind a window or in our house behind windows. We're not actually getting the full spectrum of the sun on our eyes. Um, and that actually ignites and tells our body, okay, it's daylight. Our inner clock, our circadian rhythm is notified. Ah, the sun is up. It's morning. My internal clock's going to start uh, kind of matching to the sun cycles. But what we do is we have like an inverse relationship with sun. We might have artificial sun and light all day long because we're in the mall or we're in offices or we're indoors all day. We don't get any natural sun, which has way more um, kind of strength or lumens or lux um, light power than fluorescent, shitty, crappy junk lights at work. And then at night, we might come home and be exposed to blue lights from our computer screen and our phones and all this other stuff, which is stimulating our brain like it's daylight when really it's nighttime. So you can see how we have this inverse relationship going on. Maybe at night we're getting too much light and it should be dark at night. In the morning, we're not getting enough light to tell our body that it's, it's daytime. So tip number one, get outside five minutes, 10 minutes is even better, and get natural sunlight on your face, in your eyes, I mean, not if it's crazy burning your eyeballs, but in the morning it should be fine and that's gonna tell your body it is morning, it's gonna wake you up and kind of kickstart your circadian rhythm. It's gonna help with energy. The next thing is, yeah, being obviously mindful of the junk light, what kind of light you're exposed to all day long and at night, but at night really focus on um, darkness. So limiting your blue light exposure, um, looking at what kind of lights you have on in your house. Do you have fluorescent lights on all night long? Telling your body it's daytime. Um, can you wear blue blocker glasses? I love Swanwick. Uh, wear your blue blockers at night or turn the computer, the iPhone, the iPad off and quit having that blue light shining in your eyes, which is telling your body, hey, it's actually not nighttime, it's daytime, which is going to affect your sleep, which is going to affect your energy. So that's tip number two sort out the junk light at night, limit your blue light exposure at night. And on top of that, make sure you have dark curtains in your bedroom, especially if you're uh, in the north where it's light until midnight. Um, get the, what are they called? Blackening blinds or whatever. You can get them at Walmart, just curtains that are able to black out all the light. They're a game changer. I was even trying to use an eye mask before and then I finally got the blackout curtains and it was like night and day um, for sleep. So that's another tip is focus on evening light, making sure you have blackout blinds. And then another uh, really important one is for your energy, um, start the day with a protein rich breakfast. Whatever time you have breakfast, get the protein in there. We need adequate protein throughout the day, not just a high protein dinner and carbs all day and being on a roller coaster of blood sugar. We need that protein split up throughout the day. So if you can get 20 grams of protein at your breakfast, plant-based protein, high quality protein, if it's organic eggs, if it's a smoothie with protein powder, if it's nuts and seeds in there, whatever works for you, but we need that adequate protein and that's gonna start leveling out your blood sugar, um, controlling cravings and controlling that blood sugar fluctuation, which is gonna help your energy. So I have tons of recipes on my website. Head on over to my website, get down to earthwellness.com. Um, or I have freebies you can sign up for, links in my bio on Instagram. There's lots of recipes there with smoothies and all sorts of breakfast ideas that you can get to have protein-rich breakfast. 
but really getting that protein in the morning will help to level out your blood sugar, which will help with your energy throughout the whole day. My last tip is um, a lot of people today are stressed out and on the go. And when we're stressed out and on the go, our adrenals can start to feel that stress and um, become overburdened and tired. And our adrenals really appreciate a mineral rich diet. Um, sometimes we don't get a lot of minerals, maybe if we're eating refined foods. So if you can have lots of minerals in your diet, but also add some high quality sea salt to your water or add high quality Himalayan sea salt to your food. I add a little bit to my smoothie every day. That's really, really nourishing for your adrenals, which are really um, in charge of your stress response in your body. So it's that downward um, effect, right? If we're really stressed, we have a lot on the go that does affect our adrenals and our adrenals really support our energy levels, our stress response, and they really appreciate well, relaxation, love, <laughs> and a mineral rich diet. So add some Himalayan sea salt to your water, quarter teaspoon to like a liter of water, um, or add it to your food and that will nourish your adrenals, nourish your body with that mineral rich sea salt. Yeah, so those are my four tips. Um, those will help you have more energy this summer, really keeping in mind the summer sunshine. So that's why I'm talking a lot about light today. Um, but yeah, I hope that this video helps you. Let me know what you're going to implement. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Hope you have a good day. Talk soon.